Hello, my boys. Hola, hola, mis amigos. Uh, this is Sam with Lord of the Rings event. Uh, this was just released before reset today, so I couldn't really make a video too fast. But this is the Lord of the Rings shop. It has, as you can tell, a lot of rings. Yeah, it's called King of the Rings uh, in GMS. But basically, what it is is you can buy every single ring in this shop or in that was ever released in reboot in this shop now you're probably not going to be able to get all the coins that you need so i'm here to tell you what you need to prioritize right so number one you want to make sure you get the master ss ring master ss ring is probably the most important ring that you can get uh, along with the synergy ring synergy ring master ss ring those rings will not be replaced anytime soon so definitely prioritize this just keep in mind, Synergy Ring, you will have to do on um, multiple characters. Five characters in total, including your main, uh, to get the entire effect. Whereas Master SS Ring, you know, the ring is just itself, right? Uh, but Synergy Ring, you know, if you can get a head start on it, I definitely recommend that you do that. Because later on, there's going to be possibly a Pink Bean uh, character creation event where you can get more Synergy Rings. So to give you guys an idea. I have Synergy Ring on my main and I have it on four other characters, right? And I got this, you know, a long time ago, but basically if you can even get two or three rings this event and then get the last two, you know, in the future months, it's still a very, very good ring and I highly recommend that you get it. And it is end game, best in slot. So uh, if you already have Master SS and you've already have Synergy Ring and you do not plan on getting drop gear on Master SS, which I actually highly recommend, as you guys can probably tell, uh, right about here, right? I do highly recommend that you get drop gear, but if you don't plan on getting drop gear anytime soon, next best thing would be either Reboot Cosmos Ring or Reboot Vengeful Ring. These have the exact same stats, so it doesn't really matter which one you choose. Uh, but this is kind of like a, like a third ring. You know, it's not too important because in about two months, you're going to be able to get the Chaos Ring. You know, two to four months. You're going to be able to get the Chaos Ring, which is a lot better. It is best in slot for reboot, as far as I know. So, take it or leave it. You know, if you want that power boost for now, you can get it. But these, again, Master Assets, Synergy Ring, most important. Now, if you have all four of those rings and you don't want to waste your time, I do have some news for you. If you get all six rings in this event, you can get this chair. This chair is basically you, your character, floating in a circle of all six rings, and it's really, really cool. It's like, basically, you are literally the Lord of the Rings. It's, you know, I'm definitely trying to get that ring. This does share across worlds, so if you have another character uh, who has, say, the Pivotal Adventure ring, or the, uh, the Complete Sylph ring, like I did, on a very, very old character, you can log onto those, click the Refresh Achievements button, and that will be recorded, right? So you don't need to necessarily get it on the same server, or even the same character, but it does spread across all the worlds. Now that being said, these rings are kind of expensive. You know, even the cheapest energy ring is 800 coins. So there are several events right now that you can get coins with. The first one being uh, Monster Cabby. Monster Cabby, you know, go to the star. Monster Cabby, it's pretty self-explanatory. You go in and I won't be able to show you guys a complete run because it does take like five minutes. But basically you go in, you can go in 10 times a day. And... Uh, there will be mobs moving around at various speeds at various locations. You just pick up the mobs that you see that belong to a certain area. So for example, you know, Hennessy's mobs would be uh, orange mushroom, blue mushroom, I think green mushroom as well. Those three mushrooms, if you pick up those mushrooms, you can go to the Hennessy's part of the map and deliver them to Hennessy's, right? And that'll give you a certain amount of mesos that you can use. Um, and you just keep on picking up mobs. There is one special Spirit Savior mob uh, that you can get and that works with all four towns. So when you actually get into the map, Hennessy's will be over here. Kerning City will be over here. Uh, Parion will be over here. And Alinea will be over here. So for Alinea, you have the Evil Eyes, the Dark Eyes, uh, the Ice Eyes, what are the Frozen Eyes, Cold Eyes. Uh, for Parion, you have the Boars. You have, you know, Flaming Boar, Regular Boar, Iron Haw, and all this stuff. And for Kerning City, you have the Ghosts. You have Junior Raph, you have Regular Raph, you have Shade, the Black Raph, basically. 
and uh, you have the Sturges, which is the bats, right? And again, there's a Spirit Savior mob that's 200k points, so it's quite a lot. But that's kind of the idea. The map is a lot bigger than this map right there. You know, it's it'll take you a while to get through, but that's basically it. And at the end of it, you can choose to save your mesas or convert them to mesas, convert them to coins at a very, very low rate of getting like two coins a run. And you can choose to save your mesas for the future, right? And when you save them, you can actually upgrade your taxi and upgrade uh, in the speed or somehow get more slots in your taxi as you go on so i actually would recommend filling the taxi in the very beginning if you if you plan on doing this event for a long time to, you know, just to get all the coins you possibly can to upgrade your taxi as much as possible and then start farming for coins in this event because it does make a pretty big difference so but that's basically it do this 10 times a day i would say if you actually just convert it all to coins immediately if you do well Probably get like 20 coins a day from this, so it is something. The next thing would be right now, every 15th minute and every 45th minute. Ah, oh, damn! It's 10:45. I just missed. <laughs> I just missed the the iteration. But basically, at every 15th minute and every t every 45th minute of the hour, you will see an envelope above your above your head. Nothing too special there. Click on it, and you'll be taken to a detective room where you can guess uh, numbers. Now there is an algorithm to do this most effectively and most optimally. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below, but pretty much it's self-explanatory. You choose three numbers and it'll tell you how many of you, how many of them you got right, how many of them you got right, but in the wrong location. You just keep figuring it out from there. And that can get you, on average, I would say 25 to 50 coins, depending on how good you do. If you do really, really well, you can even get up to, I think, 75 to 100 coins. But that's if you do extremely, extremely well. So, up to you. But I would say, you know, if you if you get into 10 to 20th uh, place every single run, which is definitely possible if you start to get the, get the pattern of it, you can get 10 coins, or 5 coins per stage. And that's 5 stages, right? So, it's 25 coins more or less. So yeah, that's how I was able to get my first uh, 271 coins. Now, yeah, that's not much to say there. And just a reminder, of course, the Rainbow Event is still going on. I think it'll keep on going for another week or so. So make sure you get your Morat symbols uh, while you still can. You know, pick the Come Find Me mission, and Patience mission. I covered this in my last video on the patch notes a little bit, but it's very important you get more ass symbols and of course this sunday uh saturday at reset or sunday uh you will get 20 symbols just for logging on 20 free symbols that you can use uh to pick whatever symbol you want so they'll give you these items that you can basically convert to any symbol that you want so say you know, I wanted to have more ass symbols. I click on the symbol, it'll ask me, okay, which symbol do you want? You want more ass, Arcana, Lashlin, Choo Choo, VJ, and it'll give me options up to the area that I've already completed. So, say, you know, if I was level 220 and I didn't complete Arcana, then I wouldn't be offered the Arcana choice, right? I would only be offered uh, VJ, Choo Choo, and Lashlin. Right, so, the same thing applies if you're not at level 200 already then unfortunately this event is not for you. But if you are level 200, and especially if you are level 230 and above, this is very, very important once again, because you can get up to level four Morass symbol, if, if I calculated that correctly. If you do every single day of the rainbow event and you get the level tw and you get the 20 uh, additional symbols, that's level four symbol, right? So it is pretty worth. And uh, yeah, just to give you guys a peek, we are moving up the world in Arcane Force. So yeah, that's basically it for this event. 